Hello LearnDash friends, it's great to see you again. Today we're going to be talking about drip feed content. It's a great way to keep students engaged and to keep them coming back to your website for more. Uh, if you're not familiar with the concept of drip feed content, what it means is to simply release lessons on a scheduled basis. So instead of your students having access to the entire course upon purchase, this way uh, lessons are released on a predefined schedule. So if you're ready to get started, you'll just need a course and a few lessons to do this. So once you're ready, head on over with me. So we're going to start over on the left-hand toolbar, hover over Learn-LMS, click on Add-ons, and we're going to install the Learn-Dash Notifications add-on. So this way, once drip feed content becomes available, an email is sent to your students. So they'll, uh, they'll know that new content is available to them. So when, once we've installed the plugin, we just click Activate Plugin. All right, and now we're ready to schedule some drip feed content. So we're gonna go over to Learn-LMS, click on Courses, and you're gonna click on the course that you want to uh, set up drip feed content for. So in this case, we're gonna use the WordPress basic tutorial. We're gonna hover over it and click on Builder. Here we have a uh, outline of our course. So the first lesson we wanna make available is, is as soon as it's on purchase. So we'll go and uh, hover over the lesson, click on edit, click leave, and now we're going to click on the settings tab. And as you can see here, the lesson release schedule is uh, scheduled to be released immediately upon purchase. So that's just fine. We'll leave that there. So now we're going to go back to our course builder. And we're going to click on the second lesson. We're going to go to the builder, uh, click on edit again. Click leave. We'll go to the settings tab. And so now we want it to enrollment based. We want the uh, lesson release schedule on enrollment based. So we select that and it, we're going to click one day after uh, one day after the purchase is made. So we click update. And let's go back to our course builder. Now we're going to click on the final lesson and set it so that it, it uh, so that it's released two days after the um, after purchase. So do we do the same thing? We go to the settings tab, click on enrollment based, and click enter two days, and click update. All right. So now we've configured our lessons to uh, be released on a drip feed basis, but we want to our, we want our students to get emails so that they know the students, they know the content has become available to them. So we now have a new addition into our uh, Learn Dash menu, the notifications menu item. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click add new notification. So here we can add the notification title. So we'll just call this new lesson content available. And so before we enter a message, we're going to select a trigger. So we want the, um, we want uh, this notification to be released, uh, to be triggered anytime a uh, lesson becomes available to the students. So we just have to check the uh, right option. A scheduled lesson is available to user. And we select that if there's a specific course we want this available to, but we're going to keep it simple. And so anytime a course becomes available, um, anytime lesson content in any course becomes available, they'll get this trigger. And the same thing, we're going to click on any lesson. So this way, the, uh, they'll receive a notification, depending, no matter what the course is, anytime a lesson becomes available to them. And we're going to click the user, um, the user checkbox so that the email goes to the user. If you want a copy to go to, the, to yourself as well, you can select admin but uh, otherwise uh, we'll just leave that as is. So to, um, we're gonna send a message, but we're gonna want to uh, create some dynamic content to it. And LearnDash has some uh, short codes to, to, for, to, for doing so. So we're gonna just click hello, we're gonna enter hello, and then we're gonna enter the short code for the first name. Enter space and enter the short code for last name. We're going to enter a new lesson content is now available to you. Please log in to 
see more. And we're going to uh, enter the uh, lesson title. And we're going to get rid of this actually. So now our um, email will read, hello, first name, last name, new lesson content is now available to you. Please log in to see, the, then this will be the, the uh, title of the lesson. So now we're just going to enter the uh, URL, the short code for the URL. And we click publish. And there we have it. The uh, schedule, uh, the content is now scheduled to be released on a day by day basis. And every time a new lesson is available, the user is going to receive an email letting them know that the content is available as well as the name of the lesson and the URL in which they can access it. So I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe for more Learn Dash tutorials. I'm coming out with them all the time. If you like this, please hit like. And in the meantime, take care. And I'll see you at the next video. All right, bye bye.